Somewhere on the highway just outside of Jerusalem, the rocks by the roadside sit patiently and quietly, as rocks are wont to do. One moment, the silence is absolute, then suddenly... What, what happened? Ah, talking rock! I can talk. What's going on? Help. Excuse me. Voices from the sky. Um, pardon me. Talking rocks and voices from above? Yes, we've established that, thank you. Look, would you all please calm down so we can sort this out? Shut up! Beg your pardon. Sorry. We're zipping up, but please. Can you tell us what's happening to us? Uh, yes, please. That would be splendid. Yes, do tell. Go ahead. We're waiting. Here we go again. Quiet! That's better. So here's the deal. I am God, your creator. Ooh. I'm speechless, if you'll pardon the pun. Awesome, dude. Nice to meet you. Charmed, I'm sure. Right on. This is so embarrassing. That's enough of that now. You see, I have a very important job for you. But we don't have any arms or legs. So you might as well guess. There's not much we can do to help you. Yes, but if the creator made us speak, surely he can make us useful some way. Exactly my thinking. If we've been given the ability to talk, then surely that must count for something. Well, you've got a point there. Even if we don't have anything to point with. <laughs> Good one. I wish I were dead. Actually, you've got to admit that's pretty funny coming from a rock. Sorry, boss. Never mind. I realize this is pretty fantastic, but then again, something fantastic is happening anyway, and I need you to help. And I need every last one of you, right down to the smallest pebble. Hooray! Hooray. We can do it. Woohoo! Fantastic! Yeah, Incredible! Yeah. Thanks, God! Woohoo! So, what's the big job, big guy? Friends, it's like this. The world is in big trouble. At least the human world is, anyway. They've forgotten about me. They're hurting one another. They're destroying the planet. And they're dying, slowly and painfully, without even knowing what's going on. We kinda knew things were bad, but not that bad. Yes, we've had a lot of blood spilt on us lately. Especially on the hill our friends call the Skull. I noticed that, so I'm doing something to make things better. What's up? I've sent my son to straighten things out. He's going to show them how to love each other, and how to live lives worth living. Sounds risky. It truly is a risk, but it's the only way they can be saved from themselves. I don't get it. Shh, don't make a fool out of yourself. Sorry. No, it's alright. My plan is that they get to know all about me through someone that's just like me, and just like them, too. Oh, I get it. When they see your son, they're really seeing you. And when they watch how he lives and how much he loves them, they'll learn how they should live and how to love you. You're pretty smart for a rock. So, where do we fit in? Yes, why did you give us voices? Well, they're just starting to get the picture. Just starting to recognize him. Just learning to love him and follow him. It's like this. Jesus is about to pass this way very soon, and it's the most important part of his mission. If the people recognize him, then they stand a chance of being saved from the mess they're in. What if they don't recognize him? That's where you step in, if you'll pardon the expression. Because if they don't recognize him when he passes by, then it's your job to show out his name so that they'll all know who he is once and for all. Hey, they're doing it! Wonderful! There's hope for them yet! So, is our work over? Well, we still have voices, don't we? So let's join in. Hallelujah! We, we love, love you, Jesus! Jesus. Hosanna! I love those guys!